Hi everyone, Ryan from Bitwarden here. Today I'm going to show you how to set up two-step login in Bitwarden, also known as two-factor authentication, to help protect your Bitwarden account. To get started, we go to the web application, and on the left we're going to go to settings, and then down to security. Across the top we have these tabs, we're going to go to two-step login, and then here you have all the different options available to you. So we have email, we have authenticator app, we have passkey, and then for our premium members we have UBQ OTP security key and then duo. So let's go through each of these. So we're going to start with email. When you click on manage, you have to enter your master password. You'll have to do that a lot on this page uh, to confirm your identity. Here you'll be able to choose which email address that you want the codes to be sent to. And then once you do, you'll have to send the email, confirm the email, enter the six digit code. Next is the authenticator app. Uh, we can use third party applications to be able to generate a code to enter into Bitwarden. To activate that, we'll just go to Manage, enter our master password again, and then you'll be able to scan a QR code and then enter that verification code into Bitwarden here, and then you'll have this saved in your application. There are several applications out there that are useful for this, including the Bitwarden Authenticator, which you can download on the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Next is Passkey, which you can use any WebAuthn FIDO2 compatible security key, such as a hardware key or your device biometrics to act as your second factor. Um, we'll go to Manage here and we'll just see what it looks like. I already have a couple of set up. I have YubiKey set up already and I have Windows Hello set up on this specific laptop that I'm using. So you can use that for two-factor authentication. Follow the steps to add up to five different WebAuthn security keys. Next is Yubico OTP Security Key. This is a premium feature. Um, it's a little bit different than the hardware security key, which a lot of people who are already using YubiKeys are able to use. But what you can do here is that you tap the button and it will auto type the OTP code. Uh, this is specifically for um, Yubico keys. And then last is Duo Security. Uh, again, a premium feature. Enter a code generated by Duo. Uh, you need to have the Duo application and you'll have the admin portal for all that. You just enter the information in the API here and you can turn that on. All right, so once you set up two-step login, it is very important for you to come up here and grab your recovery code. The recovery code is the code that lets you into Bitwarden if you happen to lose all of your two-factor authentication methods. So it is very important that you write this down, print it out. Uh, if you'd like, you can put it in the Bitwarden Security Readiness Kit document that Bitwarden has provided so you can have something in a safe place that you can access whenever you need to. Uh, but it is important that you have this code saved. All right, and then one last tip here is that you can have multiple forms of two-step login on at once. So for example, you could have passkey, authenticator app, and email all selected at once. Now this is very handy in email, for example, because it doesn't necessarily have to be your primary account address. You can use a different email that you possibly have access to outside of Bitwarden or the email of a trusted partner. This way, if you're in a pinch, you can always ring up a partner and have them provide you the code that you need to enter your Bitwarden account. All right, and that's it today for two-step login. Remember, any form of two-step login is better than no two-step login, and you should set up multiple kinds so that you ever find yourself in a situation that you've lost one, you still have access through another one, and then also make sure you save your recovery code so you always have a way to access your Bitwarden vault. All right, thanks everyone. Till next time.